Thanks, Steve and Rhea. I'm Corey Toon, and it looks like you guys are having a lot of fun, but I guarantee I'm having more fun here on the California coastline. Our first stop today is Venice, and Venice was founded in 1905 as a seaside resort town. It was an independent city until 1926 when it was annexed by Los Angeles. Today, Venice is known for its canals, beaches and circus-like oceanfront walk, a two and a half mile pedestrian boardwalk that features performers, fortune tellers, artists, and vendors. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous, like the palm trees and it provides just enough shade for my complexion. <laughs> And uh, there's lots of areas to go and, and to go shopping and do all those fun things, take breaks, go grab some lunch close by. It's a great place to go and hang out, for sure. Venice Beach receives millions of visitors each year and has been labeled as a cultural hub known for its eccentricities as well as a global tourist destination. It includes the promenade, better known as the boardwalk, muscle beach, handball courts, paddle tennis courts, skate dancing plaza, and several beach volleyball courts, the bike trail, and the businesses on Oceanfront Walk. Street ballers at the Venice Beach basketball courts are renowned across the country for their high level of street ball skills, and numerous professional basketball players have developed their games and been recruited on these exact courts. Well, if I'm with girlfriends, we'll go shopping, usually um, in the stores along the side, and then spend most of the day just hanging out, reading books, and tanning. Um, if we've got guys in our group, we do more swimming, more active stuff. They like to work out on Muscle Beach and um, more volleyball and games and stuff. Now it's time to go just a couple miles north of Venice Beach to Santa Monica Pier. Santa Monica opened on September 9, 1909, and was the first concrete pier on the U.S. West Coast. Fishing is a very big part of the pier's history. This is where legends started about the 500 pounders that got away. However, they were referring to the giant black sea bass, which is prominent in this area. It's my favorite place to do homework if I have a lot of reading to do. Uh, I like relaxing there definitely on Saturdays and Sundays when I have some free time. It's a good place to hang out with friends too. Today, Santa Monica Pier is known to be the best amusement park on the water with roller coasters and thrill rides that put smiles on the young and the young at heart every single day. There's so many things that come to mind when I'm walking down a beach, but one of the things that strikes me every single time I'm walking down a beach, looking out over the water into oblivion, is how big this world is and how small my insignificant problems really are. The tradition of taking my daughters to the beach started at a very young age, and to this day, every time we go on vacation, they say, we want to go to the beaches, we want to be around the water, and we want to have some fun, Dad. So in Hawaii, it's very uh, very laid back, very chill, very um, just stretch out and relax, and not a lot of active, you know, active activities going on. But at uh, Venice Beach, it's a lot of fun to go rollerblading and see all the bike riding going on. It's very active. There's a lot of people hanging out, doing fun things, enjoying a drink on the beach. It's just a great place to, uh, to really be active and have fun. The beaches in Europe, I've been to mostly are in Italy and in Greece. And there's some sand, but it is a bit colder. And you just you can't really lay out the same way. It's more just for kind of wandering around and like, going on a walk but not so much for just relaxing. I absolutely positively love putting my toes in the water, laying here in the sun, and watching the waves curl along the shoreline. But now it's back to Steve and Rhea. However, my fun in the sun has just begun on the Southern California coastline. Hey guys, if you liked that video, you're gonna wanna watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna wanna like it, you're gonna wanna share it, and you're gonna wanna subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna wanna do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.